question 3.37 as a solve problem 3.8 using mesh analysis and here's a uh, question 3.8 the uh, circuit is okay okay so for mesh analysis um it's not i mean it's pretty simple right it's like the one thing that's changed is you have to take into account that uh both resistors i mean Resistors that's affected by the current in this loop and the other loop, uh, they're going to the negative opposite direction, and then we have to solve it that way. Okay, so sorry, I'll go into the details, but let's draw it. Uh, so 20, 20, uh, 6, and 4, plus and minus, and that's V naught. This is 60. Okay, so let's account this as A1. I I one and this is uh, I mean I A and I B right current A and current B okay and mesh analysis uh, what is a mesh analysis uh, according to the notes in the book it says a loop that does not contain any other loop within it right and a loop is a closed path with no knots passed more than one time okay and so we're interested in applying Kristoff current law to find the mesh currents in a given circuit. And remember, so it's not testing on this, but uh, remember that mesh analysis only work in planar um, circuits, right? That's not 3D, that's not like over going over each other. Okay, so, all right, let's, uh, let's start with uh, current A, right? And what is it that equals? Uh, Y equals, um, let's see, so we're going from this knot, then it would be uh, 4 IA, right, plus 6 IA, uh, plus 60 uh, voltage, sorry, not current, volts, uh, plus, so this is where it gets tricky, 20, it's IA, right, minus IB. And how do we determine whether it's front, or who's minus what? It's, it depends on the perspective, right? So if we're looking, if we're dealing with uh, loop A, so IA, current A over here, then we say current A is the positive, right? So if we're doing it on the other side, then current B will be positive and current A will be negative. And it, the reason it's negative is because, you see, the current is going clockwise, right? We're, we set them both, assume both of them goes clockwise. So IA is going from top to bottom. And IB is going from bottom to top, right? Clockwise. So this is why, because they're going against each other, so it's minus um, the amount of current. And what, you know, to understand it conceptually, right? Current is the uh, the amount of coulombs uh, past a certain certain time, and coulomb is a, a matter of energy, right? Because volts times current gives you power. So there's energy going this way, there's energy going the opposite directions, you know, it's like pushing. Things, right if you have a square pushing this and push this what's what's the final force uh this minus this or this minus this right okay so it depends which way you're looking at okay so now we're going to ib oh and because this is a we're, we're applying kustroff current law so you know all the i mean sorry voltage law so within a loop all the volts gives you zero okay so now it goes to ib fantastic so we can use uh, this knot over here and start from here. So it'd be 20 IB uh, plus 5 V naught. And then, so here we go, plus 20, now it's IB, right? Minus IA and uh, minus 60 volts uh, gives you zero, right? So you set this over here, it gives you this. So I'm just simplify this out. So 20, uh, 20 IB, so that's 40 IB right and this is plus 5 v naught and then minus uh, 20 ia okay so now we have three unknowns so iaib and v naught right we have three unknowns two equations that means we can never find out what they are so what it means is we have either have to find another equation that or we need to find a simplification somewhere to cancel things out so uh, the good thing is uh, well in this case let's just find another equation so 5e naught, or sorry, 
just v naught, right? V naught. So v naught is over here. We don't know what it is, but we can also uh, remember this is a voltage dependent voltage source. So it depends on something, right? So it depends on the voltage. That's great because in this case we can represent this uh, within a current or uh, represent this with current and a uh, ohms, right? So v naught equals four uh, times IA. I remember because this is IA is going into the negative, entering the negative terminal. So this whole thing is in the negative, right? This whole thing is a negative. Okay, fantastic. Now we know what things are. Uh, so here we have plus five v naught, right? So instead of that, we can just write the relationship that we just uh, obtained and substitute in there. So five minus four, so that's 20, uh, right? Yes, okay. So five times four, uh, sorry. So, well, wait, never mind. So it would be negative 20, right? Five times four times IA, so that's negative 20. So negative 20 IA. So, okay, now we'll find the relationship, which is, uh, or we can simplify it, right? So plus 60 V plus 40, uh, 40 IA, all right? I, I uh, added these together, so this gives you neg negative uh, 40 IA, and we add this to this side. Okay, and then we divide it by 40 on both sides, which is IB, and then there's 1.5 plus uh, 1.5 IA, right? Perfect, and this is the relationship that we want to try to what we're trying to find, and then we can uh, use the equation above to find another relationship. So this is 4, 6, 10, 10, 20, 30, so that's 30 IA uh, plus. So this is negative, negative 20 IB, right? And then this is negative 60 V. We move this you know, to the other side. Okay, and fantastic. We can what can we do? We can simplify, right? So we have IB and uh, IB is also here. So it's 30 IA. And so negative 20 times 1.5, that's 30. So there's negative 30 V, right? And then negative 20 plus uh, times 1.5 IA, that's negative 20 IA. It gives negative 60 V. Add 60 V, uh, 30 V on both sides. That's going to give you a uh, negative 30 V and 30 minus 20. Uh, that would give us um, 10 IA, right? So divided by 10 by both sides, IA gives you negative 3 ampere, right? Ampere. And remember, if the, so here's another thing to be careful of is that if the ohms is K, K ohm, then remember now it's milliamps, not amps right so we have to care about the prefix and the scientific notation i'm not just that but this is good so far this is great we got i is negative 3a and what is v naught right v naught is four times ia so it's uh four v naught gives you negative remember it's entering the negative so it's four times negative 3a uh negative 12 within the bracket and there's a negative sign outside of it so that's 12 ampere i mean sorry right ohms times ampere gives you volts right so v v naught gives you 12 volts okay and this is how you solve uh this problem so this is a relatively simple one um simple mesh, mesh analysis uh understanding that you should be able to solve this problem i guess the only difficult part is you have to be able to see this right see the connection that you can represent v naught as ia and then it simplifies a lot of things right Okay. Um, besides that, I think this one is pretty straightforward. Okay. Hopefully this was helpful. Good luck on your studies and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.